Hey, and welcome to Vid Society. It's been a while since I made a video. I have been so overwhelmed with different projects and things I've been working on, but I wanted to make a video for you guys today on something that I've been using a lot of lately uh, for different tools that I've been using, and that is proxies. And so if you're looking for a specific type of proxy that you want to use, I want to let you know of a company that I've been using that I'm really enjoying. In fact, we are in the process of developing a new software. It's an AI software unlike anything that's out there today. And it's going to require some pretty heavy duty proxies. And so that's what we're looking at with this company here. I'll put their link below the video if you want to come here and check them out as I'm going through this. But more information will be coming up soon about this AI software we're developing along with a course that I'm coming out with. Uh, but I want to talk to you about these proxies today because there's so many tools out there that just requires proxies anymore. Not really even tools, but if you want to get access to certain sites or maybe use multiple accounts with uh, social sites or be able to do scraping or searching, uh, just different things like that, that requires good proxies. And so the reason I'm going with this place is number one, they are affordable. But number two, they don't limit you with how many threads you can have to scrape or do your work with. So, for example, I'm using proxies for SEO Autopilot, for Scrapebox, for um, Domain Hunter Gatherer and some other tools. And so with that many proxies, if I'm if I only go out and buy, say, five proxies and if I use those same five on all the tools, What's going to happen is that they are going to die out very fast because there's only a total of five and they're just being used over and over and over. Well, with this one here, with the one called Proxy Empire, they actually you can have as many threads as you want. You're not limited to how many, but instead it's based upon how much usage that you use, such as bandwidth. So how many gigabytes are you using? And that's what you're charged for. So if you were just to come here to this website and if you come up here under use cases, you can go to these links and it's going to tell you different things that people are using these types of proxies for, or you can go under the different types of proxy types. So if you already know the specific type you're wanting, such as rotating residential proxies, which are some of the best you can buy out there other than mobile proxies, there's also static residential proxies, and you can get these types of proxies, the ones that are static, and you can have them for a month or longer. So maybe you just want to change up your proxy from your home. So for example, I've had people asking me, you know, that they've had their Google ad accounts or their YouTube accounts, they were banned. And when they try to create new ones, they can't do it. And one of those reasons is because they can track your IP address. And so if you use or buy a static residential proxy that kind of hides your old IP address and it covers it up with a new residential IP proxy. So it makes it more difficult for them to track you and to find out exactly what you're trying to do. And that's why a lot of people really use this proxy force today, along with just hiding what they do online in general. So, but for me, what I would do, I would go up here to these types of proxies. I like to use data center proxies. These are the cheapest types of proxies you can get, but they work with a lot of your SEO type tools that just goes out and does research and scrapes and does stuff like that. If you want something that's more reliable, you'd want to go with something like rotating residential proxies. Uh, even something better than that are going to be your mobile proxies. And if I jump over to my proxy manager, you can see my main dashboard here where I have right now 10 gigabytes remaining of residential uh, mobile, two gigabytes. And what I can do is I can actually select the country that I want this to be from. So you can go here and select any country you want, any region, even city. And then within those, you can also select a specific carrier. So once again, depending on your requirements for what you need for your proxies, it should be available through Proxy Empire. Now, you also have different ways of accessing your proxies, such as here, it gives you your host, your port, username and password. And then down here, you have your list of proxies here and even the format that is used. You can click that and change that depending on how your software or service uses proxies. You can change it here and it'll reformat them down here so you can just copy them and paste them. Now, residential proxies are great, but if you tick this box, it jumps it over to mobile proxies, which are the best types of proxies that you can get. But they're also the most expensive types of proxies. But once again, you have all your data here and then down here, it has your rotation in seconds. So how often do you want it to rotate to a new proxy? 
Under data center, I have my remaining 20 gigs available. I can come down here and choose the country that I want these from. And then it gives me, once again, my host port, username and password, as well as my proxy list right here. Then there's dedicated mobile. I don't have these. You can see here that with dedicated mobile, it is unlimited bandwidth. It's also $250 a month, but you also get to choose your location that you want this to be from. And over here, you can choose uh, USA, New York City, Israel, UK, and Austria. Also with unlimited bandwidth, rotating IP on demand, and dedicated physical device even. And that is $125 a month for those. And then you have your static residential ones where you can also choose your country, how many IPs you want. But what I want to do, I want to jump back here and just kind of show you, for example, the pricing. So with these, your data center proxies, if you go down to the pricing here, you can see that for 40 gigs a month, it's $25, which isn't bad. Most people are not going to use more than 40 gigs a month. Uh, if you do, you can always upgrade to 100 gigs, $55 a month. So still, it's not that bad. And the bandwidth rolls over with these. So this is one of the very few ones that I've seen where the bandwidth that you get every month will actually roll over to the next month if you haven't used it all up. So for each gigabyte, it's around 62 cents starting with this plan. Now, if you was to jump up and do the rotating residential proxies, these are obviously going to be a little more expensive where you can pay as you go, where one gigabyte is going to be about $15. You can target a whole lot more countries, cities, and ISP targeting and unlimited threads, which is amazing with this. And you can see the other prices available here. So, but I just wanted to throw this out there because I know there's a lot of you using these types of tools and you're looking for different proxies to use. And this is the one that I'm using now uh, that is doing very well for me. I wanted to share it with you guys in case you want to use it. And once again, we'll be also trying this out with our new upcoming software that I'll keep you guys up to date with as well as my new AI course that's coming out. And if you guys want to check this out, you can go to AIAffiliateSuite.com and I'll put these and I'll put these links below the video, but this here is going to be the new course I'm going to be launching hopefully within the next couple of weeks. And basically if you guys have been watching my channel over the past few months, when I was really making a lot of videos and working on websites, uh, this is what I do now is I create all of my product reviews and all of my websites using chat GPT and even mid journey for images now. And this is what we're doing to get top rankings for many, many keywords. And I know there's still a lot of people who have that mindset that if it's AI or if it can be detected as AI, it's not going to rank. Well, I can prove you wrong over and over and over again. And I'm going to, in this course that I'm going to be launching, it's only going to be $12 and 95 cents. I want to show you how I create these product reviews for products that I'm promoting on Amazon, ClickBank, uh, JVZoo, Warrior Plus, and so many other places. And I can create a dozen of these in a day and they just rank over and over and over again. And I'm going to show you guys how you can do it in this upcoming course. So if you're interested in this, be sure to come to this website. I'll put the link below the video, enter your email here, and I will keep you up to date when this gets launched. So, but that's it for this video, guys. All those links and resources I mentioned are below if you want to go and check them out. Have a great day.